Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today um, I wanted to share with you what I bought in New York. Um, I've also, this will be going up alongside a sustainable shopping guide for New York. So I thought this would be quite good to show you what pieces I actually bought in the certain shops that I went into. I didn't get a chance to go into all of the sustainable shops I wanted to, but when I did, I did manage to pick up a couple bits um, bar one place, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. Right. First up, I will start with Reformation. I probably bang on about them every other week on my blog. Um, I love them so much. They do such great things, um, especially they're like well known for their like dresses and beautiful pieces like that. Um, but I'm really loving their new bits, like the more day to day basics. Um, for example, like their denim and stuff like that. So I went to Reformation with my heart set on picking up a pair of denim. Um, jeans from there um, and also a blazer um, I got one out of the two pieces <laughs> um, the, they have three stores in New York all three of the stores were out of stock of, the, of all of their blazers unfortunately um, but one of, the, one of the shops I went into some really lovely girls suggested some um, vintage stores who so we went to those instead but what I did manage to get pick up was the pair of jeans that I had been wanting to buy and it is these ones um, from uh, their denim collection it's got a crop flare although it's not so cropped on me I'll show you a photo of me wearing these compared to a photo of the um, model wearing these on the website um, they're definitely not cropped on me so I may be cutting them maybe just an inch or so um, but I really love these, uh, they fit so well around the waist, they're very heavy, very thick denim, there's like not really a lot of stretch in them which is the kind of denim I like, um, I've lo I love the colour, I don't really have any denim that's this kind of colour, um, and yeah I'm really really happy with them, I went true to size, waist 26, they fit really well, apart from the only problem is the length, but I do know that Reformation have come out with a petite collection, um, and I'm See my issue is I'm five foot three, so I'm right on the edge of um, shorts and going into average size for a woman. So it is quite difficult. Whenever I shop in petite, I'm not too sure whether I should be because I'm scared that things are going to be a little bit too small on me, like too short on me. But um, definitely with Reformation, I will be looking at their petite section a lot more um, because I also went in there to pick up their dungarees that they have. I'll show you a photo now. I really really wanted these, like, I had my heart set on these and I found them and I got them in the smallest size they could do, went to try them on and it looked like I was wearing like my dad's clothes or something like that, they were so huge on me and not even just in the length, like literally the waist and everything they were huge so I definitely think from the future I will be going for petite, um, for reference I'm yeah like I said I'm about 5'3", um, 26 inch waist, um, I get a range in shops from a size 6 to a size 10 so it is quite difficult anyway to shop um, the right size for me but um, yeah for for reformation that the dungarees were just too too big on me and unfortunately they didn't have the blazer however when I was when we went into the I think it was we went into all three of the reformation stores um, and the third one I managed to find these jeans and so this was a little bit of an impulse buy, not what I was going to, I wasn't going to get anything like this, um, but I suppose um, it is nice to treat yourself every now and then, um, and this I know will be coming on, coming with me for many holidays to come. Um, as I, and you'll probably see in my vlog, if you watch my vlog on Sunday, yesterday, um, it was very humid in um, New York, so this was kind of like a, this is really beautiful, I think I'm probably going to wear this a lot in the future and at events and stuff like that, so I thought why not treat myself to a birthday present and it is this gorgeous, I'll show you a photo of me wearing it and the model for preference, for reference, um, this beautiful jumpsuit, black monochrome with the cute little floral pattern on it and it literally fits like a dream, so it fits my, this is a normal, I don't think this is a petite section at all, so it, it is quite long on me but it fits me very well. Um, they've got a seam across the waist, which really fl fits like it flows across the waist and down straight into a straight like wide-legged pant, um, and it just looks so flattering. Um, 
And when I tried on, one of the girls in the store was like to me, put a beret and a red lip on and you're good to go. And it it really is one of those you don't really need to think about um, much because it's such a standout piece. So this will definitely be coming on holidays with me in future t years. Um, yeah, it was really beautiful. This I bought in a size 2, I believe. So I think that is roughly a size, yeah, a US size 2, so it's a UK size 8. Um, and it's just got like buttons down to like the um, hips and it, as, as it comes out into a, as a wide leg jumpsuit kind of thing. But yes, I absolutely love this. It was a bit of an impulse buy and not planned in my sustainable capsule wardrobe. However, I'm very happy that I bought it. And every time I've worn it since having it, which is a fair few times, <laughs> considering I've only bought it last week, um, I have been complimented on it every time I've worn it. So absolutely love this star piece, although not expected. Um, right, moving on to some vintage things I've bought. I didn't buy, actually, yeah, let's move on to it. So I didn't buy a lot, as you can see, this is this is a last item I've and bought. So I only bought three pieces in the end, but I would have preferred to buy a couple other pieces for my, um, for my capsule wardrobe. But um, I'm glad I didn't just go out and buy stuff for the sake of buying it. I only bought it when I really wanted to. Um, and the last piece that I bought, which you probably have seen on my Instagram, is this humongous oversized men's blazer from the vintage store, no relation, Vintage. Um, I love the check on it. You know, you've probably seen all over Instagram at the moment that check blazers are so in at the moment. Um, and they just look so cool with every outfit. I think it looks great over the dresses. I think it looks great um, with jeans and a t-shirt and some like loafers. Um, and you, you can just literally style it up in so many ways. I want to get a belt, so like um, belt it at the waist. I think that would look really good. Um, so I had been on the hunt for a vintage for a blazer, and I was going to get the one from Reformation. However, they didn't have it in stock, so I ended up going to No Relation Vintage, which is one of the vintage stores that the girls recommended to me, and I managed to pick up this, and I absolutely love it. Um, we yeah, it was in the bottom floor of the No Relation Vintage, hunting around, and my sister went, oh look, there's a selection of blazers, and as soon as I saw them, that was the one that popped out to me, and it was for $8, which was absolutely crazy. Um, it is very oversized on the shoulders, which I do get a bit self-conscious about, um, but the trick that I learned from Army Song, from Song Style, is to use a hairband and just push up the sleeves to hold them in place, and then it shows where it shows off the arm, the slimmer arm, similar part of your arm, it kind of gives the right proportion, it doesn't make you look like you're 10 times bigger than you actually are, so I really really love wearing that, and I'll show you a photo of me wearing it now, um, and I'm so pleased that I saved like $200, because uh, the blazer I went to get from Reformation was about $248, so I've saved myself about $240 by for going with vintage, and I'm really really pleased, um, although someone at my work did say, Oh, did you steal your blazer from like a banker from the 1970s? And I was like, yeah, pretty much. But um, no, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, so moving on, um, I was, I did actually go to the sh um, shop, the showroom for Everlane, um, which I said in the blog post as well, um, which was interesting. So I had to queue for about 10 minutes to get in there. It was quite packed on Saturday afternoon. So. If you are going to go, I would suggest going during the week because it will probably be a lot more quieter um, and yeah, it was very packed when I went in there. Um, and so when you go up there, you can purchase things there if they have the stock, like the size, the colour, everything that you want. Um, if they have it there, then you can purchase it there. Otherwise, this is more for like you to get a feel for the products and then you go onto the website and you order it. My issue was, there were two things I wanted to get from there, a black pair, a high-waisted black skinny jeans, um, and their day heel in the Cognac suede. Um, so I managed to try on the, just the plain black leather ones in the, in the size, US size 5, which fits true to size for me, which is a UK size 3. Um, and I didn't get a chance to try on the black high-waisted skinny jeans because I didn't have them in stock. Um, and I couldn't find, they only had the mid-rise ones. Um, so they said, oh, order online, it's fine. Um, but then obviously with Everlane, they don't ship to the UK all the time. And they could have clearly could have seen that I was U British because of my accent. They didn't bother to tell me that they still weren't able to ship to the UK, nor when the next shipping 
was available so that was kind of a bit frustrating because I'd really wanted to go in there um, and then I queued up and everything to go in there at the end of the day um, didn't get a chance to go to other places because I really really wanted to go there and then it was a little bit of a disappointment because one they didn't really have anything in stock um, and two I didn't feel like the customer service was that great when you went in there um, so instead I'm having to order the stuff to my boyfriend's sister who lives out there and then she's gonna ship it over for me and obviously I'll pay for the shipping and stuff like that which is it's just a bit of a ball leg like, to be honest trying to get the pieces from Everlane. I absolutely love pieces from Everlane as I've said with the t-shirts I bought before and I want to try more of their pieces however it's so frustrating trying to get the stuff from the US over into the UK and even when you're in the US it's still really hard to like get it if you if they have no proper shop so I think they may have some in a different state maybe but in New York you can't if you're going there specifically to New York to pick up something it's going to be very tricky to actually get your size and everything um, I mean I suppose if you're staying for a bit longer we also stay for quite a short amount of time if you're staying for a bit longer and you head there first and they don't have your stuff you can always get it delivered to your hotel maybe I haven't I didn't look at that option because obviously we were leaving and we went on the Saturday and I'm pretty sure they won't get it delivered on the Sunday so I suppose because they do say they do express shipping so I suppose if you went on the Monday you could pro probably order it to your hotel and get it by the week by the Friday before you leave or something like that however for us it didn't really work out and I was a bit disappointed in that um but other than that I've worked my found my way around it so yeah but that was kind of quite frustrating hence why I don't have as many pieces to share with you for this video as I would have liked but as soon as the Everlane, Everlane pieces do arrive, I will share them with you. Moving on, um, I did. we went into a couple of other vintage stores um, and I managed to pick up some um, earrings from this vintage store called Crossroads. There are a few other nice pieces, like some nice jeans again, um, but I was on the hunt for some really cool outlet earrings, which has also been really, really popular recently, and I managed to pick up these ones. Um, I love how they have this dangly bit and the hoops are so in at the moment. I think it just looks so cool. Um, and then there's just slightly different hoops because they sit facing rather than that way, if that makes sense. Um, and I love styling them with the blazer um, with just one earring dangling down. I think that looked really cool. So I also picked up those. Uh, finally, moving on to some beauty bits. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that much sustainable beauty pieces out in New York as I just bought a load we went and there'll be a video next weekend um, about that um, but we did go into Sephora and had a makeover done um, which you can do like so they do the makeover for free but you have to spend money for it to happen kind of thing so we had to spend $50 um, so what I did was I had the makeup over done and I asked what products they were using on my face um, and picked up a couple of things that I just don't have already so first thing I picked up was the Natasha Denoa um, primer as I actually don't own a primer um, and this is a face glow primer which is a hydrating under base. I don't know a lot about makeup so I'm just, I'm, it's a learning curve for me. Um, I've not really heard of the brand Natasha Denoa before. My sister had and she said it was a really good brand um, and this is a very good uh, primer. I mean since you, since I bought this I have been using it and it has made my face feel, it, it takes, when I take my makeup off it makes me feel like I haven't got loads of makeup sitting in my skin, it's kind of coming off a lot easier. Um, so yeah, that's what I bought from, I bought that and also picked up the, so she used a contour stick for me, um, which wasn't, you know when you see contour it's like a really really dark brown and you get really nervous about using it. Well, she actually used this one, which is a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna one. Um, and it's quite, it's in the shade Almond, so it's actually quite a, um, just a kind of creamy brown, a, a it's still a tan, it's just a nice tan colour. Um, and I think this is really good, um, and I kind of do like the that shape on my face and along my nose. And then she said, just do a slightly darker one there and there to to def define my cheekbones even more but this is more of like an everyday bronzer and I actually really liked how this looked so I picked up that as well um, so yes and then the final thing that I bought which is a very very last minute thing which is a beauty thing as well 
was a Wet n Wild foundation brush. I needed a new foundation brush anyway. And when I picked, when I when we were in um, Walgreens, I saw this, and it said that it was cruelty free. Um, so I thought that I would pick it up as it is a lot better than a lot of makeup brushes that you get nowadays that aren't. You don't know where they're made, and you don't know what they're made out of. So this was really good. It's cruelty cruelty free, gluten free, and vegan. Exclusively designed ergonomic handle for control. Um, Wet and wild never tests on animals. We believe in beauty without cruelty. None of our furry, feathery, or scaly friends were harmed in making all this product. So, I mean, we have got the brand Eco Tools over in the UK as well, which I also want to try out. But I thought I'd pick this up and give it a go. I haven't used it yet, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so that's not much else to say about that one. Um, that is everything that I bought in New York. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you like the post that goes with it. Um, regarding all the sustainable sh um, shops that you can have a look at whilst you're in New York if you ever go to New York. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.